We're releasing initial basketball rankings for the class of 2026 next week. And Rob, today you wrote about some of the prospects that intrigue you and are expected to be near the top of that of those rankings. Um, you say you've got a clear number one prospect in the class. Who is it and why is he your number one? Yeah, if you know if anybody's been paying attention to you know NBA draft boards in the future or even to grassroots basketball at all, it's pretty clear. Usually we don't like to do a lot of spoilers here at Rivals, but I don't feel like uh, putting AJ DeBansa uh, out there as number one is much of a spoiler considering just how dominant he's been in relation to the rest of this class. You know, there are NBA guys already talking about him as a possible number one pick down the road. Uh, you know, he's out of uh, New England, which, you know, we talk about Cooper Flagg also out of New England. Uh, so that's interesting, but he'll play his high school basketball in Napa Valley, California at prolific prep this year. And he's just an absolute unicorn of a player, man. He's young first class, uh, handles the ball extremely well, can do a lot of different things. You know, he played U17 at, at UIBL this year and was among the leading scorers in, in the country at that event, despite being an underclassman. And, you know, he's just been consistent, uh, and been versatile and, and is kind of a modern pro prototype. And then in this in that article, you also mentioned a prospect who is ambidextrous. Now, I, I could be wrong. That might be a first that, that I've heard of anyways. Tell me about King Kendrick. Yeah, he's an interesting cat. You know, he won't be near the top. It is kind of taking a chance on him. But, you know, he's an explosive scoring guard. And when we say he's ambidextrous, I don't mean like he's good with his offhand or he can finish with both hands. He will shoot a three-pointer with his left hand or his right hand, and it really doesn't matter to him. It's really an interesting thing to see. Uh, he's already got the attention of some schools. He's got some small school offers. I think Ohio is offered. Kent State is offered. But I know Ohio State is interested, and you know some of these other schools are interested too, just to kind of see what he becomes. He's only about 5'11", 6' foot right now. He'll probably grow some between now and the time he gets to college. But he's electric. And you know I put him on the list just because you know I think he, he has big-time college upside. Uh, and the reason I wrote about him is just because he's intriguing. There aren't a lot of guys like King Kendrick that come through and, you know, he, he kind of caught my eye. I thought it'd be interesting to share him with the rest of the world, you know? Definitely. All right. Well, you can check out Rob's article on rivals.com. It's called I got five on it and check us out next week for the first look at the class of 2026. Rob, thank you very much. Hey, absolutely. Dave.